do you want to go viral? I have had more than a billion views of my videos over the last couple of years, mostly on Instagram. So I know a thing or two about going viral and it's not as hard as you think. So I'd like to give you some actionable tips today, especially if you're a maker or a creative, to figure out a way to make your videos go viral. Hey, I'm Josie. I am an artist and I love color, process, and material, and the social media. And one of the things that I am fascinated by is all things viral. And over the years of having these, you know, million to 10 million to 20 million views of one video, I've started to compile some data. I'm a student of my own self, and I would like to share some of that data with you. So I got three tips today. Tip number one, define viral. Viral is just something that's better than your baseline. Let's say you have a thousand people, you get a 20% engagement, which means about 200 people are liking and commenting on your posts. What you'll notice if you look at your account over time is that every once in a while you'll get pop-outs. So you're, you're doing good, everything's pretty standard, you got 20, 200 likes, 200 likes, 225, suddenly you'll get a 300 or you'll get a 375. Or if you're making videos, you, you're normally getting a couple hundred views, suddenly you get a thousand views. That right there, friends, that is viral. And why it's important, even though you're not getting like millions of views all of a sudden, why it's important to get those pop-outs is because the Instagram algorithm is paying attention to your overall engagement. And so the algorithm is like, oh, this person is getting this percentage all the time, this percentage all the time. And then all of a sudden it's like, ooh, she went from 20% to 50% engagement. That must mean that piece of content that she just delivered is special. So they think Instagram, the algorithm, them, are like, hey, let's put it in the explore feed or let's show it to more of her followers because this seems to be delightful content. Okay, so now we've established what virality is. Now that you know what it is, you can analyze your own account. You can do this just with your own eyeballs. You do not need a fancy analytics account, but there are a bajillion apps that will help you do this. Just to tell you what an extreme dork I am. Years ago when they didn't have all the analytics opportunities and I was trying to grow my Instagram account, I, I did this, yes I did. I printed off thumbnails of the last, I don't know, 100 posts or something and then hand wrote in the engagement for each post. Now they have apps that will do this lickety split. But in those days, I was like, hmm, hmm, hmm. And then this is what I did and this is the important thing. I tried to figure out the commonalities between the outliers. So this is more art than science. It's not like, oh, all of my posts with red get more likes, but red or blue or a color scheme might be a component in your viral posts. So you gotta ask yourself some questions. Look at, look at your whole sphere and look at the pop-outs and say, what, is common, what, what are the commonalities of these pop-outs? What time did I post them? What did I write in the caption? Did I ask a question? Was I provocative? Was I personal? Did I write nothing in the caption? Did I describe my process? Knowing what you did and then figuring out ways to tweak it and recreate it. You know, what are the things that people are wanting to watch? And then how can you give them more of that? Okay, so that was tip one. That was a really long tip one. I'm really giving you a bang for your buck here. Tip two, is sort of the same thing, but it's market research. So you're not just looking at yourself, you're looking at for people in your space. And I think you can branch out here. Let's say you're a potter and you're, you have an account about your pottery and you're interested in what other people do, how other people manage the algorithm and that they're posting and you know their workflow or whatever. Maybe you look at a account of someone who does woodworking. It doesn't have to be exactly a parallel, right? You can look at the woodworker's account and it also doesn't have to be a huge account. You can look at some, somebody that has 
consistent posts and maybe, you know, a few thousand or up followers, and then just look at what they've done and then look at for those outliers, you know, like if they're consistently getting a thousand likes, but suddenly they get 2000 likes on something, make a note of that. Like what, what is special about that one that popped up and you need more than one data point, right? You need to like compile a little bit of this to sort of get a lay of the land, figure out like kind of what's hot now, what people are engaged with what people want to see and what seems to spark that engagement that gets the algorithm to be like, oh, hey, this is something we want to pay attention to. Third tip, and this is sort of a short one. This is like a top secret tip. The first three seconds of your video are really the only three seconds that matter. So there we go. Can you make a three second video? Here, I'm going to give you an example of three seconds. Okay, here's another one. Three seconds is a short amount of time, friends, but those three seconds are what engage the viewer to want to see what's coming next. And they, you know, you can provide a little drama in those three seconds. It, you can come up with something that will catch them and want them to keep watching past the three seconds. And here's why three seconds is so important. Three seconds is what Instagram counts as a view, which is kind of ridiculous in our day and age that three seconds like means your view number just went up. But three seconds, one, two, three. If you can catch your viewer, they, they can drop out at 10 seconds, but if you can catch them for that three, then it's kind of, then it, you, you, you got them, you nailed it. You're on your way to making a viral video. Okay, thanks a lot. For watching. I hope you learned some excellent tips. Please let me know if you have other things that you've observed about making your stuff go viral. I'd love to hear about it. And if you want to know more about like just kind of basic Instagram how-to, you can look at some of my other videos. I'll put them on the end screen here. You can click right to them. And if you want to see some of the viral videos, you can check me out on Instagram. Thanks a lot.